The Leopard 2A8 is the latest upgraded version of the venerable German Leopard 2 main battle tank. This version evolved from the Leopard 2A7HU tank that was built for Hungary. In 2023 German armed forces were considering to make an initial order for 18 Leopard 2A8 tanks. Once in service the new tanks would replace the 18 German Leopard 2A6 tanks that were donated to Ukraine. The new tanks could enter service with the German army in 2025. So far German MOD is committed to further upgrade its Leopard 2 fleet rather than to switch to a brand new main battle tank, such as the KF-51 Panther that was recently developed by Rheinmetall. Nevertheless once in service the Leopard 2A8 will be among the best main battle tanks in the world. It was planned that the new Leopard 2A8 tanks for the German army will be newly built, rather than upgraded from existing hulls. These will be equipped with Trophy Active Protection System. It is also fitted with a new engine. In 2023 Czech Republic was in talks with Germany to acquire 70 new Leopard 2A8 tanks. The Leopard 2A8 uses a Rheinmetall 120mm L55 smoothbore gun. The gun is loaded manually. It is compatible with all standard NATO 120mm tank ammunition. It can also use DM-11 programmable HE rounds. These programmable multi-purpose munitions enable to engage targets behind cover and within buildings, but are also effective against armored vehicles. Information about the secondary armament has not been disclosed, but it is believed that the Leopard 2A8 will use a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, and a remotely controlled weapon station with a 12.7mm machine gun. It was announced that the Leopard 2A8 version will have a further increased armor protection. The tank reportedly uses multi-layered armor of new generation. It is made of steel, tungsten, composite filler, and ceramic components. Add-on passive armor kit is fitted. Mine protection and protection of the turret roof were increased. The tank is equipped with a version of the Israeli Trophy Active Protection System. It is also referred as the Euro Trophy. The Trophy Protection System was designed to provide additional protection for tanks against incoming anti-tank rockets and missiles. In some cases it might also provide protection against incoming high-explosive anti-tank shells. This system uses a fire control radar with four flat panel antennas mounted on the vehicle for a 360-degree field of view. The Trophy has a brief reaction time. When an incoming rocket or missile is detected the internal computer calculates its approach vector as well as optimal time, and angle to fire countermeasures. A number of small explosively formed projectiles are housed in two rotating launchers that are installed on the sides of the vehicle. Once launched these defensive munition explode and form a very tight and precise cloud of explosive shrapnel that is aimed at the incoming threat. Incoming rockets and missiles are destroyed before they hit the tank. Though this system does not protect the tank against kinetic energy threats, such as the armor-piercing fin stabilizers discarding Sabo munitions. These munitions travel too fast for the system to intercept. This trophy was designed to have a very small kill zone in order not to endanger infantry next to the tank. This system can simultaneously engage several threats arriving from different directions. The trophy is used on Israeli tanks for a number of years. It saw action during various clashes. Israeli tanks fitted with this system survived multiple anti-tank rocket and missile attacks. Since its introduction this system demonstrated 100% success rate in various terrain and combat conditions. Defeated threats include RPG-29 anti-tank rockets and Cornet and Metisem anti-tank guided missiles. The trophy system also passes information about the direction of attack to tank crews. This allows to identify enemy location and attack the launch position, thereby providing greater survivability. It is believed that fire control system on the Leopard 2A8 has been further improved over the previous version. The tank reportedly has a new situational awareness system. Some sources report about the 360-degree vision system from within the hull. Battlefield management system has also been improved. The tank is operated by a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. The Leopard 2A8 uses a 1600 horsepower engine. Previous versions of the Leopard used a 1500 horsepower engine. It is possible that the use of newly built hulls on the Leopard 2A8 might be related to the new engine. There is an auxiliary power unit, which powers all systems when the main engine is turned off. 
The new 20 kW unit replaces the previous 17 kW unit used on the Leopard 2A7 series tanks. Variants Leopard 2A8 NOR is a version of the Norwegian Army. In 2023 Norway purchased 54 Leopard 2A7 tanks from Germany. These tanks had improved specifications in order to meet Norwegian requirements, and were also ordered with an integrated trophy active protection system. As far as these tanks were newly built and had all the characteristics of the Leopard 2A8 an agreement was reached between Kraus Maffei Wegman, producer of these tanks, and Norwegian Defence Material Agency agreed to redesign eight these new tanks. These are now known as the Leopard 2A8 NOR, 